Tonight, the story of a 14-year-old girl who was murdered and dumped at an abandoned hospital in West Houston. It has been 25 years and the case is still unsolved. Grace White shows us the new work investigators are doing to find the missing pieces. And an empty field on the west side of Houston. It's hard to look past this mother's grief. Whoever did this, I want them caught. Her daughter, Erica Garcia, was murdered here. She was 14. She was a strong-headed girl, very pretty. Her friends called her Tweety, a name she had tattooed. She lived at the Kingsgate Apartments, and she had just made the cheerleading squad at Sharpstown Middle School. I didn't get to see her get married. I didn't get to see her have children. Margarita Garcia still doesn't know who did it and why. She didn't deserve this. She did not deserve to die like this. This hasn't always been an empty field. It used to be the site of the old A Leaf General Hospital building, and it was a security guard making the rounds that discovered Garcia's body inside. And I'm confident enough to say that there's at least two people out there that know what happened. Houston Police cold case detective Ramon Cervantes says she was raped and strangled with her own clothing. What do you think the motive was for this murder? I, I can't pinpoint and say exactly what it was. But police can pinpoint where Garcia was before she was killed. On June 6, 1997, her aunt dropped her off at a teen club called New Dimension. I watched her go in, and that was the last time I, I seen her. It really was. Derek Spear remembers when it happened. Early 90s, there were, you know, some gangs of choice around here. He's retired now, but at the time was a HPD sergeant assigned to Sharpstown Middle School. My partner and I would be out here every day before and after school just to make sure the kids were okay. Still fresh on his mind, the conversation he had with Garcia before her death. She was tired of the life she was living and she wanted to change it. She wanted to uh, start new. Uh, but it's just a matter of trying to put the puzzle together uh, with what happened that night. This is my last picture. 25 years later, police and Garcia's family believe the killer is still out there. This trip all through here. Her family has spent their own time pounding the pavement. We've tried, we've redone flyers, we've started at the beginning. All the way back to the empty field where her tears are met by new hope, growing in what was for this mother the darkest of places. I'm not gonna give up until I need closure. The cold case team is conducting new interviews and looking at evidence from this case. They can test for DNA. They're hoping new technology will help them identify a suspect in Erica Garcia's murder. Yeah, Grace, did Erica Garcia happen to have a boyfriend at the time? She did have a boyfriend at the time, but police say he was not there the night she died. They're still trying to track down all the people who were, and they say that DNA could really be a key part of this investigation going forward. We have seen in the past what DNA can do from cases that sit for years and years and years. Grace White tonight. Thank you.